Hello everyone. Welcome to Oracle Fusion Hub Siri of Tutorials and um, uh, today we will be discussing about um, ADF Logger which is a very um, beautiful um, uh, concept in uh, ADF framework and uh, for most of the uh, beginners who are uh, um, finding their feet in ADF um, uh, framework uh, tend to forget the important uh, concept which is ADF logger and uh, half of the time they spend their time uh, debugging various issues in um, the development and uh, this ADF logger mechanism is actually going to help these beginners not just the beginners but the seasoned uh, uh, developers who are uh, who want to uh, see how their app is behaving uh, uh, in the real world so uh, for this I have uh, created um, I have an app which is um, department uh, it's a regular app and uh, we have a model which is having uh, the employees and departments tables and we have a view controller uh, whereas I have uh, created a home page and this home page is actually a dynamic region um, which contains the AMP DAPT task flow. This is a department and uh, uh, this just lists out all the department uh, details and uh, this is an employees. So when uh, when someone uh, selects a particular row uh, for uh, in the department's uh, table then he will be uh, uh, then the control will go to the employees uh, page fragment in which we will display all the employees for that particular selected department <clears throat> and uh, how do we actually um, I mean we also I'll show you um, I have also written a simple uh, managed beam and uh, I'm going to open that beam so that is execute employee view bean which is here so this is my uh, managed bean so in order to uh, uh, leverage the ADF logger concept uh, the first basic step what we need to do is we have to go to the uh, integrated web logic server uh, log window and in the actions <coughs> you have to first configure the oracle diagnostic logging so click on that and it opens it logging.xml file which is nothing but if you if you look at the source code for this it's a plain xml file which contains all the log loggers and the log handler details that's it nothing else but but j developer has given us a beautiful uh, user interface for us to work on it and change it <coughs> I'll show you some of the components in um, uh, Oracle Diagnostic Logging Configuration and these are all the modules for which we have to apply the level of logging and uh, uh, these are the uh, declared handlers which means you have a handlers section here uh, whether you are going to uh, uh, log all the, all the messages to a console or to a file and stuff like that. <clears throat> Now, um, in order for you to create a uh, custom log logger, uh, what you have to do is you have to click this plus box and here you'll see two uh, options. One is add persistent logger and the other one is add transient log logger. So the persistent logger is nothing but the permanent logger. If you, if you click on persistent logger and apply, I mean give your uh, package details here and then give the logger info here and click OK, this particular entry <coughs> will be permanently stored <coughs> in this logging.xml file uh, no matter what you uh, uh, how many times you restart your instance or you close it you shut down the uh, machine and then go go away and come back it still be there however <coughs> the other one which is excuse me and the other one which is transient logger uh, uh, this is applicable only for that particular session and uh, the entries will go away once you restart the web logic <clears throat> so so right now um, 
you just click on add transient and here either <coughs> you can um, add it i mean you can uh, see uh, search for this uh, particular package name and all like this or you can directly put it like this and this is the logger level and if you click finest here then it encompasses all the other logs finer to severe whatever the error message that is defined as severe if you if you log it in the logger level as finest then you will see uh, the rest of the uh, logger messages so right now i have already given my com.ofa this is a uh, persistent logger that i have uh, uh, placed and uh, here i have placed it at uh, finest level so so all the um, logging that i would do at com.ofa will now uh, uh, i can i can see everything in the console so now i saved it and then i go i went to this execute amp view bean i've done some logic here and uh, the, the first basic thing i mean you now the um, area of diagnostic logger uh, configuration has been set up the the next step is uh, uh, put those log messages in your uh, java files so le 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 let's see like this is how the uh, adf logger uh, is actually um, instantiated like private static adf logger uh, some logger name adf logger dot create adf logger and you give the uh, employee bean uh, dot class value here so now now we get hold of the logger here and now wherever you want to use it you just use it as like see let, uh, here i have used it logger dot info and entered execute amp view bean and here uh, I've, I've mentioned exit amp view so this will give me uh, that uh, something has been done here uh, this uh, the control has passed from uh, somewhere to this particular package it executed all this and nothing errored out and finally it print this info and uh, once you do that you save and you re redeploy the application but right now i have already deployed my application so uh, i'll just open the url for me uh, so it's not still there so what i do is I'll go ahead and run it once again. <clears throat> so rebuild my project and once it's done, I'm going to run it. And <clears throat> there ain't any issues and uh, compilation has been successfully done <clears throat> now the page has been opened and uh, I'm going to select one particular row and uh, um, I can see all the employees uh, for that particular department and uh, now I have made some transaction here I'll go to the J developer and uh, in the integrated web logic server click on actions and uh, click on analyze log current in console and here here I if I click on uh, buy log messages and I've given it only at the um, info level and uh, I'll write like two minutes and if I click yes see my messages have been uh, uh, are coming here exit uh, entered execute bean and uh, execute amp view bean and this is how you are going to uh, track your uh, um, uh, working of the application and stuff and apart from that uh, there is one other uh, nice uh, uh, concept called by ADF, I mean option called by ADF request and uh, when you click on this you will see uh, the ADF request uh, lifecycle uh, listen, I mean uh, events that are happening here and uh, if you see uh, the page restore view has happened and uh, 
like i mean the all the uh, life cycle uh, listener events have been captured the whole request cycle has been captured here and uh, this particular concept we will uh, explore uh, more uh, about this particular concept in the next uh, uh, tutorial for now happy logging thank you